Hi, my name is Chad DeFries with Forest River Georgetown. Today we're going to take a look at the 2023 36B5, which is a two full bath bunkhouse. But right now we're going to talk about the exterior features. Starting up front, we're going to have heated and powered mirrors. We're also going to have side vision cameras, so when you turn on your turn signal, it's going to populate on the radio screen. Some of the other features we're going to have is an outside television that's going to give you sound through the speakers as well. Also going to be Bluetooth and FM and AM ready as well. We also have an HDMI connection down here under the storage bay so you can hook up your tablet, Xbox, and, and enjoy that on the television screen as well. Behind me we're going to have two uh, suburban six gallon hot water heaters. So that's kind of unique about this coach. We're also going to have two furnaces on board on this coach, which is also unique. Above me we're going to have an aluminum wrapped awning. So benefits of that is going to be that it's going to protect the awning from the sun when it's retracted. It's also going to protect it when you're going down the road and might hit a low hanging tree branch on your travels. If you go up top on the coach, we're going to have a fiberglass roof. We're also going to have two ACs up there as well for you. One of the other things we're going to have on the exterior is going to be an LP quick connect. That's going to be for your LP grills or a campfire. Um, really nice and easy, controlled uh, way to entertain underneath this awning. The other thing that we're going to have inside the storage base is going to be rotocast storage. So complete rotocast, pass through, it's a plastic composite that's going to last for years to come. Now that we're in the inside of this 2336B5, I want to show you some of the inside features. Starting up front here, you're going to notice that our, our seats actually swivel. So you're going to have the conversation table that's removable, uh, chairs easily swivel. The driver's seat's going to be power, so it's going to be power for the seat part up and down, forward and back, and, and adjust it from the tilting. The back of the seat will actually be manual, so you're going to have to reach and hit the lever and get your comfort zone there. Moving on inside, we have a computer workstation. The computer workstation is going to be really nice because there's some storage underneath that when you flip it open. Um, you can put your laptop on there. Um, you can do crossword puzzles, but there's also a lot of storage underneath there for odds and ends things as well. We also have some power um, on the side of the center console. So we're going to have three plugs. We're going to have a couple USBs on the front. The middle USB is actually going to be to work the radio when it comes to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. That's how you get that on the screen. Really nice feature. You can use your uh, devices with real-time navigation. Um, so that's, that's really nice. It'll give you turn-by-turn -turn navigation as well. Moving over to the side here, we're going to have a nice layout for your, for your dash. Really easy to read. Ford has provided really nice controls. Uh, for cruise control, those kind of things. There's a lot of uh, things you can change on the dash as well through Ford. Moving over to the driver's side on the, on the wall there on the left side, you're gonna, that's where you're going to find your jacks. So the jack pad is there, real easy to use actually. You just keep, when you get to your campsite, have the engine running, hit the emergency brake, hit on on the jack pad and hit auto level and sit still. It takes a couple minutes, but it's really easy in, uh, for operation as well. If you look here, we're going to have night shades on the three windows here in the cockpit. Um, the center one is going to be motorized. The, the side windows are going to be manual for you. Above this beautiful cockpit, we're going to have an overhead bunk. So this overhead bunk is off of seat belts, so it's very quiet for operation. One of the things that makes this bed a little bit unique is the fact that one, we have the netting so you can hook those up in the corners here as well as if you're to lift this mattress up we just don't have a mattress we actually have a euro loft um, spring a uh, box spring underneath so we're gonna have the wood slats a little bit more comfortable uh, for your unexpected guests or your planned guests so they can sleep up here easily right here's the hooks for the ladder ladder is gonna be found underneath in the storage compartments for uh, keep it out of the way moving on over here to the kitchen and living area this is where this coach really excels so Right now in this floor plan, we actually have the optional theater seats. So the theater seats are absolutely comfortable. They fully recline. You're going to have heat. You're going to have massage. You're going to even have some lighting in there for you that comes up underneath the, the theater seats. Nice accent lighting for in the evening. If you flip up the armrest, you're going to find power. You're going to have USBs and 110s. So when you're missing your loved ones and you need to be on your phone, you can FaceTime. You can plug in there, not worry about missing a beat. Above there, we're going to have some nice storage spots for you guys. Um, 
And then over here in the kitchen, we're gonna have solid surface countertops. The TV is above the sink. TV, what's nice about this is it does flip up, so you're not missing any storage underneath here or behind here like you would if the TV was not there. So that's kind of a nice feature we've done. And it's right across from the comfortable theater seats. Countertop extension, you got solid sink uh, covers as well, dual, dual sinks. We got a nice faucet so you can spray everything out. Um, one of the things we added this year is a cutting board for you guys. So that's kind of a nice little feature. Still have the same um, full glide extensions. We did change the oven um, for this year in 23. So we went to a glass door, um, kind of freshen it up a little bit with a glass top on there. Still have the convection microwave oven. And then we also have the backsplash as well. And then up front here, you're gonna have ducted AC system. So you're gonna have a 15K AC in the front that is ducted that also has a uh, built-in heat pump in it as well. So that's gonna work down to about 40 degrees uh, ambient temperature outside. Over here for our booth, we're, again, we're gonna have solid surface countertops. One of the things I really enjoy about our booth is, um, as you can probably tell, I'm, I'm 6'3". I'm not really a small guy, but we can fit four of myself in here very comfortably. So you're gonna notice that the tabletop itself is a little bit narrower. So you're gonna have plenty of, of room. You're gonna have plenty of foot room as well. The other nice thing about this dinette is it does push down. It's called a dream dinette. So it will push down. It will have a filler cushion here on board on the coach. You can convert that into a sleeping area as well for your guests. Over here, we have a LP electric refrigerator. So it's gonna be a four door. Uh, stainless steel. The nice thing about this is that it's going to have an auto mode on it. So you can hit auto mode. It's going to recognize what power source you have available at the coach at the time. So if it's the generator or short cord power, that's going to trump the LP. So that's a really nice feature about this. Above me, we're going to have a fantastic fan above us. Um, nice little exhaust fan. Gets a lot of air moving. Uh, creates a nice breeze when you don't need the ACs moving on outside moving on back into the throughout the coach this is where you're going to find this merlin solar controller we do have a one panel up there that's 115 watts that's dedicated to the four uh house bat or two house batteries excuse me that we have downstairs that's going to continually trickle charge down to there we have our bunk house this is again what this is what really sells this coach again two full bathrooms and a bunk house uh, along with a king bed. So we're gonna have USBs and 110 outlets in this coach, uh, in the bunk areas. We're also gonna have lights behind you. Um, nice place for your kids to relax. They can plug in their favorite devices and, and, and watch YouTube or, or whatever they wanna do. Underneath the coach, underneath the bunks, excuse me, we're gonna have three drawers. Those are kinda nice for additional storage as well. In here, you're gonna find the bathroom, the first bathroom, so you're gonna find a shower you're gonna find a toilet, a sink, and a medicine cabinet. Moving on back, you're gonna have a pocket door. So this is gonna be nice to keep the privacy for mom and dad or the owners of the coach. Um, keep everybody else in the family up front. We got plenty of wardrobe spots back here for you guys. We're gonna have, again, the TV flips up. We're gonna have storage behind there. We're gonna have wardrobe, hanging wardrobes. We're gonna have little pockets. We got drawers underneath. We also have a drawer underneath here, underneath the bed. So plenty of storage. Complement that with the storage above the, uh, the king size bed. So storage is not gonna be an issue on this coach, folks. So the other thing when you're moving into the bedroom, you have the king size bed at 72 by 80. You're also gonna find nightstands. You're also gonna find uh, USBs and 110 on each side of the bed. So that's a really nice feature. If you were to open up the middle cabinet above the uh, bed, you're gonna find another 110 and another uh, 12 volt. Um, that's for our CPAP people that need those. So there's also gonna be a hole underneath the cabinet that's filled right now, but you can drop your tube down there, keep your CPAP up top there, really clean, really easy to use. Um, so you can have a peaceful night's sleep. This is where you're gonna find the second AC, okay? So again, just like the front AC being 15K with a heat pump, this also is a 15K with a heat pump in it as well. And again, this is all ducted. So these, these co our ACs are ducted together. So if you're a light sleeper, have the front AC on, have all the ducts closed up there so everything's moving back here and it's not keeping you up at night. Moving on back here to the rear bathroom. Again, this is the second full bath. So that's kind of cool about this coach. Over here is where you're gonna find the option for the stackable, or excuse me, the combination washer dryer. Um, we can put that in at the factory. If your needs change and you wanna add it later, absolutely, it can be done at any time. Again, plenty of storage. We got some linen storage here for towels, open space. We got some drawers here, 
medicine cabinet. And then behind me, we have another full shower as well as, as the toilet for you. And again, another pocket door for ease of use. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions about the 2023 Georgetown 36 B5, please visit our website at forestriverinc.com slash Georgetown.